Today I'm going to show you how we were able to make 35% plus in over $4,000 in just about 50 minutes in penny stock blue apron. Most of you guys know about Blue Apron because they were the big food delivery service stock that blew up during COVID time when people couldn't go out and get food anymore. Now the stock is all the way back down to a penny. The stock was recently just at $8 a couple months ago, just about five months ago in September, and now it is a whopping 80 cents. So crazy to see how far a stock could fall in, but that is 2022 in a wrap, the worst year since 2008. Now we're not here to long-term stocks because you're usually gonna lose money in that situation in this year and the upcoming year. We're just here to make you money overnight. And that's consistency in the market, finding what wins and finding what works for you and doing that over and over again. Blue Apron is a pattern that we've found that's consistent for the stock snipers and that's a first green day pattern. That just means the stock's making a 10% plus day something it hasn't done in a couple days now with blue apron the stock hasn't made a big day in a little bit the last time it did it was all the way back in december before christmas and it was able to follow up the next couple of days so it has nice signs of follow up and that's what we like to see even when you zoom out to the one year you can see the stock has fallen up and actually ran after first green days actually following up for multiple green days after that so feeling confident if we're able to find a first green day in this pattern. And that's what consistency is about. Looking in the past history, seeing what's worked before, and trying to repeat that pattern over again. Now the beauty about Apron is the stock has been falling for about 5 months from $8 to $0.80, cents, which means people that are shorting the stock are making money and racking in the dough. But for those people that are shorting and never sold the stock, they're going to have to eventually take their bag. And usually they take their bag when they see some sort of big spike and that's what causes a short squeeze. So that's what we're trying to play and that's what we're able to take advantage of in Blue Apron. First green day two days ago, that was actually a trade that we made two days ago on Blue Apron looking for the similar move that we finally got. So it shows you not to give up even when things don't work out in your favor. Don't lose faith and don't keep it don't don't not look at them anymore. Make sure you keep an eye on them. We always set alerts. So as you can see here, we have alerts set up. We like to set alerts up at key levels and we actually had an alert set at 88 cents. So 88 cents was a key level that we wanted this stock to break and we saw that it couldn't break that when we actually played it two days ago. So we were able to make $400 two days on this stock but that was only 4% and we didn't really get what we wanted because 88 cents got rejected. Now we see it's breaking 88 cents and that's when we take advantage of it. So I'll dive into the daily chart to show you exactly what we were looking at and you can get an idea of why we bought this stock. So before we zoom in to see that after hours pump, I'll just zoom into the daily chart right here. And as you can see, this is a beautiful looking first green day. You have a great level that it's trading in between 82.5 and 86 so 86 cents and 82.5 range and every time it comes down to one level it bounces off every time it comes up to the next level it drops below that's what you want to see in a healthy moving stock and what's great about this is remember 88 cents was that key level of resistance that it couldn't break the past two days and that's a spot that we've been watching it and we did say if it does break that spot we do think it's going to break above a dollar that's why we bought it two days ago but during power hour today, it finally makes that move. So on Thursday, January, what day is it? January 12th. So on Thursday, January 12th to be exact, that's when we have decided to buy this one. It, when it <coughs> so on Thursday, January 12th, that's when we're eyeing down this 88 cent breakout. We see a breakout during our favorite time of the day, power hour between three to four. And that's when we start to eye it down. We had the alert set up at 88 cents and it broke right past that instantly. Getting in earlier would have definitely been nice, but now that we know it broke that key level, we want to see it hold that spot. So a healthy stock is able to break those key levels and hold those key levels. So we get the breakout of that and now let's see if we can hold it. And that's exactly what it does. It gives right back to 88 cents and it holds it. If you're in the sniper chat, we were telling them we don't want to chase this one up at 95 cents, but if we get a good dip, 
we're gonna take it and we got that exact dip we were looking for right to 88 cents it holds 88 cents and we decide to buy as it comes away comes back up to close out the day at 91 cents getting just about 11,400 shares to be exact rounded down to 11,000 but 11,400 shares right around there at 91 cents and then it pushes above 91 cents and it closes right about at 915 it was a weird last minute close because it shot down to 90 and then it ended up closing at 915 either or we were up just 0.5 cents going into after hours and this is where the magic happened after hours is really when we started to see some volatility we saw a massive buyer come in it was about 2.8 K it came in right around 93 cents after hours and then it started to tick up 94 cents 95 cents and it comes back right around high a day at 95 5 that is not when we knew we were in action if we were going to be able to break 95 5 we are now going to close to that dollar spot and any penny stock that breaks the dollar is a key spot that you want to be looking to as long as the stock has volume you should have your eyes on that 99 cent to a dollar break and that's what's going on right here in apron right when it decides to break above 95 cents it goes instantly to a dollar and then all the way to 109 gets a dip hold the dollar and now what i was just telling you about those shorters that are making tons of money that's been shorting it since eight dollars they are now seeing a big squeeze happen some of them are deciding to get out and some people are just deciding to buy and with all that action going on we got an after hours short squeeze and that was beautiful to watch we got a squeeze from all the way 91 cents to break out a dollar and then to come all the way up to a dollar 35 but the snipers are all about taking a profit. It's hard for you to hold this thing and know exactly it's going to top out at $1.35. So where are you going to take your profit? We got the nice push past the dollar and we wanted to see it hold the dollar. So after it goes to 109, it comes back to a dollar and it holds that spot. Now that's our new cut spot. A dollar is our new cut spot. Then we get the 20 cent push. And after a 20 cent push, that's 20 more percent on the stock that we're in. You got to decide you probably should take your bag. We not just are up 30% in the span of 30. No, it was about 20 minutes, <coughs> 26 minutes. So we are now up 30% in 26 minutes. You might want to think about grabbing some of that bag if you haven't yet. And that's what we decided to do. We took half our bag right there. We decided to get out right around 117, 118 area. And we were more than happy with that bag because it happened in less than 30 minutes. We didn't think Apron was going to get a squeeze like this, <clears throat> but we were looking for that push right above a dollar. After that half sell, we now feel comfortable with at least staying patient in that dollar cut. So as long as we don't come back below a dollar, we want to stay patient and hold this thing for this first green day beautiful looking play. If you zoom out to the long term chart, there's a key spot that's coming up at 120 and that is the gap down. We have a big, big gap down that Blue Apron went through, and it's right here. Gap down from $1.50 all the way back down to one twenty. So that one twenty spot is a key spot for us to watch. One twenty to one fifty gap down. Look what happens after hours. If you zoom into that level, you'll be able to see that right around one twenty gets rejected. It holds up for a little. That's where our half sell was, and then back to action we are. And we get another about 15% spike. So we just got a 20% spike in 30 minutes. And then the next 15 minutes, we get 15% more of a spike. And that is enough for us to grab our bag. We do understand that this is a first green day. And it does have the ability to continue to spike. But you do have to grab your bag at one point. You always want to have take your profit and move on to the next. Especially if you're up right around 40%. And that's, what we, that's where we were here on Blue Apron. We were up more than 50% from our entry spot, but as an average, we were able to get out here right around 130s, right a little bit above 130. And on average, we got out right around 126 area. So 126 from 90 cents, 91 cents, that's right about 35, 36 cents that we made on our money on Apron. For all the other snipers in the chat that were able to grab Apron with us, big shout out to you guys tagging the bags. I mean, it was only 50 minutes after hours where we were up 50% on our bag. And that tops up actually our biggest bag as a sniper. And that comes in 2023. This year could be special. We were talking about breaking records and making this our year. And now we are 
three for three, actually four for four, undefeated on the year, and Apron becoming our biggest win with just about four thousand dollars and thirty five percent plus in fifty minutes. If you want to find out about some more trades, or if you want to hit some trades with us, we'd love to have you on the team. Check us out at thestocksnipers.com, or you could check us out on the App Store or Google Play. Just came out with a brand new app. Always innovating, always trying to work with the team. Check us out under Stock Snipers. Let's go tag some bags. Let's find another play just like Apron. I mean, the thing is still going up. It actually was able to hit 144 after hours, but grab the bag and find what's next. Let's go find the next winner, Snipers. I'll see you back here next time. Peace. I think we are rolling.